Good cold evening, friends. So, welcome to my second part of my Beatles <coughs> UK albums. <coughs> and today I'm going to continue from uh, 1967 to 70 and plus some other things. So, uh, the last video I finished with uh, All This But Gold is which was released by the end of 66. And the next album that was released in 67 is, of course, Sergeant Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is the uh, first mono pressing from UK. And if somebody wants to know, one of my previous videos, actually it's my first video on this channel, I'm talking about my Sgt. Pepper collection, so you can check it out and I will put the link in the description below. So, this is how uh, the original Sgt. Pepper looks like. It has sold in UK text and gramophone on the, on the round and the KT text code embossed in the center. And uh, yeah, the uh, matrix number finishes with minus one. It's six, three, seven, minus one. And the side two is six, three, eight, minus one. So that's how it looks like. This is the mono pressing from June the 1st, 1967. And the cover also has information. <coughs> On the count, the information here is that it's uh, printed by Garand and Lofthouse here. And here in the top right corner it says Mano. And yeah, it comes like this with a gatefold. And a gatefold like that. And also it comes with the um, psychedelic inner sleeve. And cutouts. That's how it came <clears throat> originally in 1967. Now I have two copies of Sgt. Pepper, absolutely identical with the only difference with the only difference is the width of the spine, but it's different issues. <clears throat> But the other thing that I want to show is my uh, another copy of Sgt. Pepper, which is from late 1969, early 1970. And this one came in this kind of um, inner sleeve. And the label is not yellow black parlophone, it's silver black parlophone, and it has only one EMI box. Which it uh, tells us that, and this is a stereo pressing, of course. And this one EMI box <clears throat> tells us that this is the uh, one of the early pressings on black and silver parlophone label. So it must be late '69, early '70. So that was 1967, my Sgt. Pepper collection. Later that year, on eighth of December 1967 was released the British version of Magical Mystery Tour which is the double EP which one I also showed in one of my previous videos and this is the mono pressing you can tell it by by the letters here MMT the stereo is SMMT and it looks exactly as this as the American version and this one has the blue lyric sheet which tells you that this is the first pressing and another clue that you can find on the on the EPs themselves is that of course it has sold in UK text here in the center in the push out center and the credits of the northern songs NBC should be written in three rows not in two rows so uh, this is the uh, first pressing mono pressing this is late 67 magical mystery tour <clears throat> in one of my previous videos I also showed this new find and on the on the EPs themselves there is a matrix number which is a bit different from the other 
it's uh, very long and it finishes with minus two and on the third side with minus one so respectively the two EPs have minus one minus two on the on the sides as a matrix number so that was magical mystery tour now 1968 was released November 22nd it was released white album now my version is stereo but also it was released in mono so um, the lower the number here the rare you have you, your copy is and the most more expensive I have with one zero in the beginning so uh, it's not the number is not that low and the first pressing you can say by uh, the, it should be the top opening from here not the side top opening from here and the inner sleeves must be black I'm gonna show you all of them yeah this is the original inner sleeve that came also the uh, white album came with uh, four portraits pictures John Lennon Paul McCartney George Harrison and Ringo Starr these are the four pictures and also it came with a giant poster with a picture collage and the lyric sheet I'm not gonna open it right now I also showed this uh, <clears throat> poster in one of my previous videos so check it out I'm gonna show you the um, the albums themselves the LPs themselves now <clears throat> This is the first album of By The Beatles released on the Apple. And it says here uh, PCS 7067. In, uh, also it has a sold in UK text. text. And the one interesting thing is that <clears throat> here on the side of the Apple there is an EMI credit. On the early pressings the EMI credit appeared only on the um, third and the fourth side, I mean on the, on the second LP. The first one didn't have it. Now my, my version has the both of them, since I have a stereo, I didn't get by the, the mono yet. So, this was the original UK pressing of White Album Stereo. <clears throat> the next album that I want to talk about is Yellow Submarine. Now, Yellow Submarine is a bit strange album by the point of view of release because the first pressing was released on mono PMC, but it's not mono. It was released. It was recorded as a stereo, but two. But the stereo channels were mixed into a mono, so it's not the um, the mono version just like the other albums from the earlier days so this was never recorded as the mono but it was released as the mono so it's the first pressing of 1969 and also you can tell by these two lines here two red lines that this is the original and also here in the bottom there shouldn't be a credit of the publisher and here should be nothing is real written so that that's what tells you that this album is the first pressing and the label, also Apple, has also sold in UK text across the Apple and it's written here PMC 7070. And the matrix number also finishes with minus one and it has the EMI credits. So that's how it looks, how it looks like, the mono version. And this one also came with the um, black inner sleeve. Now, that was the last time that the sold in UK text, text was also written across the label. So the next album by the Beatles, which is Abbey Road, which was released later that year in 69, does not have the sold in UK text written across the, um, <coughs> across the label. This is the Abbey Road album, the first uh, UK pressing, Stereo. Now, there are a couple of clues that can tell you that this is the first pressing. The most important is that Apple here is misaligned with the text. Text. It comes, uh, comes a bit f forward. The next pressing already, the Apple was inside, aligned with the text. And also the um, sound list shouldn't have the Her Majesty <coughs> written. 
And also the label does not have Her Majesty. The last song here is uh, the end, of course. So this one is a stereo, <clears throat> PCS7088, and it doesn't have sold in UK text. And the matrix number, which is very important, 750-1. And the second side, uh, the first side is 749-2. So if you have the combination of minus 2, minus 1, you have the original first pressing. So the next album, the last by the Beatles, but <laughs> not the least, is Let It Be. The original UK pressing came with a red Apple logo and it came with a box and the book. And of course it's stereo and the label is Green Apple. Well, more information you can find in the uh, video, especially dedicated to this um, rare box. By the way, it has the most views on my channel so far, so thank you very much for that. <clears throat> but I'm briefly going to show you the, uh, the box, just to hold it in my hands once again. Enjoy it. I keep it in, 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 in a cardboard box. So, this is the box. The original one that came in 1970, very rare thing. And it came also with a book and the promotional poster, but I don't have it. And another album, UK album, that was released in 1977 actually. This is the uh, Beatles at Hollywood Bowl. This is also a UK pressing, it's a gatefold. Also, it has here printed by Garold and Lofthouse credit. And the label is very interesting. This is the uh, list of the songs. And on the side one, there is just a picture. So it's a very interesting label, very nice album. Which was released in 1977. So this is the only live album by the Beatles, actually. So, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching. This was my uh, short uh, video about my Beatles UK albums that I have. Um, the, the links to the videos of Sgt. Pepper and Let It Be I will put in the description below. And if you have some questions or I've said something wrong, please write me a comment. And I will be happy if you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.